Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sound like John Mayer, especially slow dancing in a burning room. So I will show you my XFX3 preset. Uh, we will talk about how I get it, that sound, and I will show you some tips about how to play it. Let's get started. First, I have a uh, gate, because I think my grounding is horrible, so that's why I am getting that horrible sound. And to get rid of this sound, I'm using a gate and, you know, way better now. Maybe more? No, okay. So I'm using that gate. Later on, I'm using a compression pedal. So especially for this song, uh, there is lots of compression on the guitar sound. So that's why I use a compression pedal, 5 ratio. And for amp, I'm using ODS 100 Clean. So this is a dumbbell. As I know, uh, John Mayer uh, usually using dumbbell amps and uh, Fender Bandmaster. So I tried Bandmaster amp, but it didn't work very well. So I decided to record it with uh, this ODS 100 Clean and it sounds perfect. <laughs> So, for bass, I have like 3.7, uh, mid, 6, trebles, 3.5, and I'm using bright switch, so let's get that bright switch, how it works, so... So it's more brighter and better for me. And I use the matched cabinets, comes from XFX3. I didn't touch anything, so I just uh, use like 4.8 high cut and 5 kilohertz high cut for both. If I use that frequencies, it sounds like too trebly, so that's why I use high cuts. And for EQ, I'm just having like a little touch for the mids, like 250, 500 hertz. So as you know, that frequency sounds like boxy. So I just tried to get rid of a little bit. As a filter, uh, I use like uh, 7.6 uh, low pass filter. And again, I'm using another compression because uh, in the recording, it sounds too compressed, which is nice uh, for that recording. So I use a studio compressor and as a reverb, uh, I prefer my Fender amps, you know, reverb, but uh, we are using XFX3 now. The, I use medium spring reverb and as a high cut, I, am, I choose like 2.6 kilohertz. And for the tone, that's it. I mean, there is nothing special actually. And it sounds something like that. So let's get started to talk about how we can play that. First, I'm using a 62 Hot Rod uh, Vintage Stratocaster. So it's nice guitar and as I know, John Mayer using 62 Strat. And I'm using my tram bar because it's very uh, important for that song. For my ears, it sounds like middle pickup, which is not common for John Mayer, I believe. Like so he is using like these two pickups or neck pickup. So with the neck pickup, it sounds more fuller. <laughs> But I believe in the recording he used the middle pickup. So I'm not sure actually it could be the neck or middle pickup. For me it sounds like middle pickup but let me know in the comment section guys what do you think. Okay so let's get started. So he's sliding from 9th fret to 11 on A string and playing 
G9. And he's playing so gently. And then with his thumb, he is like playing E string 9. And then muting all the strings and you will hear the reverb. So later on, we are jumping that part. For that part, actually, like you, you have to mute the D string because if you get D, it will sound horrible. So it has to be. And you have to use your tremolo bar for that section. So it gives life and it sounds way better with the tremolo. So without tremolo. With tremolo. And then. So with that, in that part, uh, I'm using my ring finger and muting the A string. And then I am sliding from 6th fret D to 11. And then getting G9. And you, again, using my thumb for the 9th fret. And muting. And then same, two note groupings. So for live shows, he is using slide for that part. And maybe pull off too. And we are getting that part. He is using his thumb and playing like. But I prefer using my middle finger, which is easier for me. So, um, muting some strings, very important for that song, and using the tremolo. And you have to play gently and try to sound like John Mayer, because I believe sound comes from hands, so uh, you have to practice a lot. Me too. <laughs> so, okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button next to it and turn on all the notifications for more. I hope to see you on my upcoming videos. Cheers. Bye.